Did a Missouri Republican lawmaker named Dean Vanshkoyak say that introducing a bill on banning child marriage would interfere with my God-given rights to her fertile ripe body? Now, this came from an account called the Sergeant Joker on Twitter, also known as X, who was brave enough to block me, but jokes on you, I have the Twitter API and I'm a software developer, so let's have some fun. The actual tweet said, Leader of the Missouri GOP, 65-year-old Rep. Dean Vanshkoyak, a.k.a. Colonel Dean, is upset that members of the Missouri House have the audacity to try to introduce a bill that won't let him marry a 12-year-old girl, calling it interference is my God-given right to her fertile, ripe body. This particular tweet was retweeted about 2,500 times and liked about 4,000 times, at least as of me writing the script. Now, on May 8th, uh, 2024, Kaysen Bayless of the Kansas City Star wrote an article about a bipartisan bill that would outlaw all child marriages in the U.S. state of Missouri. And believe it or not, most U.S. states have a minimum age for minors to marry with parental consent, ranging from 12 years old to 17 years old. I actually didn't know this. 16 and 17 year olds are allowed to get married in Missouri as long as they have parental consent. Missouri law also bans marriage between a minor and anyone 21 years or older. So right away, this tweet kind of smells because a 65 year old man like Dean Vanshkoyak uh, wouldn't be able to marry a 12 year old girl anyway. And Representative Dean Vanshkoyak is wearing a wedding ring in this picture and a cursory search reveals that he's married to a woman named Mary Ann. So, it is likely that he is already married. Now, I had a hunch that this might be a Russian disinformation account, so I ran it through Syabra, and their profile really didn't match what you would expect a Russian agent to have. Russian disinformation actors tend to have accounts with up to 50% inauthentic followers, and this particular Twitter user doesn't display that kind of indicator. So how did this stuff come about? Well. I think this is what you might call misattribution manipulation. Now, sometimes misattribution manipulation is benign. A famous uh, example might be the detective Sherlock Holmes never said, elementary, my dear Watson, but a lot of people think he did. But when you have an inherent bias, misattribution can trick you, especially if a quote has emotional truth to it. That is what you feel feel to be true rather than what the facts will actually support. Now on May 3rd, 2024, an account named Alessandra Murray, who is a Democratic New Hampshire state representative, posted a video of a Republican state representative named Jess Edwards, who said in a debate regarding their state's child marriage laws. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for taking my question. Um, uh, do, do, you, do you agree with the point of view that uh, if we continually restrict the freedom of marriage as a legitimate social option, um, when we do this to people who are of uh, fertile, ripe, fertile age, and may have may have a pregnancy and a baby involved, are we not, in fact, making abortion a much more desirable alternative when marriage might be the right solution for some freedom-loving couple? Yeah, that guy actually said that. I am 48 years old and the words ripe and fertile have never left my mouth until literally just now. But yeah, those, those words had to be formed in the guy's brain and it actually made its way down into his mouth. Now, Alessandra Murray is not followed by the Sergeant Joker account, but you know who he does follow? Shannon Watts. I didn't know who Shannon Watts was, but apparently she founded an organization called Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. Shannon Watts retweeted Alessandra Murray's tweet about what the New Hampshire rep Jess Edwards said on May 4th. In the intelligence community, this is what we call a clue. Now, you notice how if you line these two pictures up, these two men do look kind of similar. So this may have been an attempt to deliberately confuse these two men, even though these two men are representatives in two different U.S. states, one in New Hampshire, one in Missouri. But they do look alike, and if you're predisposed to certain types of biases, it would not be unreasonable to look at a guy who looks like this and think, yeah, someone who looks like that probably would say ripe and fertile. That's <laughs> twice in one day. Now. What Missouri Rep. Dean Van Shoyak said in an interview with the Kansas City Star was, 
Why is the government getting involved in people's lives like this? Van Shoyak said, what purpose do we have in deciding that a couple who are 16 or 17 years old, their parents say, you know, you guys love each other, go ahead, get married, you have my permission, why would we stop that? He never used the words ripe or fertile. Third time. But I think that since Shannon Watts' video was out in the collective consciousness and that video was viewed 1.6 million times, viewers of a certain bias were primed to accept this information. And stuff like this is how people can retweet that a flare is actually white phosphorus being dropped in Gaza or that Ukraine is harvesting organs. If you're predisposed to a bias, you're more likely to believe propaganda. And in fact, if you try to search for that actual quote, the only source is that particular Twitter account. Now, looking at the Sergeant Joker account, I mean, this is a troll account. It's just a guy who's committed to the Democratic cause, and that's cool if that's your thing. But do you really need to make stuff up? So the question is, did this person intentionally try to mislead, or were they writing satire? Well, in the intelligence community, we like to say that we exist to find out who is doing what and why. And the why, man, that's the holy grail. I know who the Sergeant Joker account is. I know what he's doing. But the why part, man, that's always tougher. I don't know if this was satire or the person was trying to mislead other people. The only person who really knows is the person who wrote that tweet. But what's interesting is that when I challenged the truth in this tweet, a number of people messaged me the video I just played, even though the video was a New Hampshire Republican. Those people were tricked. So this certainly seems like it was intended to be misleading. One person even said, welcome to the world of facts. I am the last person you want to say that to. So through the Sergeant Joker account, I did a cursory search. I don't really see any specific information, although my AI software hasn't finished churning through all five years worth of the account's tweets. Uh, this is the part where I ask you to toss me $5 on Substack because AWS fees are not cheap. So uh, I might chalk this up to satire, although the use of quotes is somewhat disingenuous. And the fact that people sent me the exact same wrong video is an indicator that this misattribution may have been intentional. So in conclusion, I do not believe that this particular account is a paid Russian actor, but the account is using some similar tactics, at least in this case. And if you're using the tactics of Russia, maybe you're not doing the right thing. Also remember, if something makes you feel emotional, think before you share, it could be misinformation. Search for truth, not emotional truth. Special thanks to Cyabra for allowing me to use their software in my investigation, and special thanks to uh, Kaysen Bayless, who works for the Kansas City Star, who took time out of his day to answer my questions. And if you want to support the channel, head on over to Bunker Branding, grab a t-shirt like Live Laugh Launch or Rock Out with Your Chalk Out. It all goes to support my work. Thank you guys for watching. In a world where fashion meets firepower, where style becomes strategy, it's time to gear up for the ultimate mission with Bunker Branding. Introducing the Rock Out With Your Chalk Out t-shirt, a tribute to the fearless air cavalry. Feel the adrenaline rush as you don the pride of the skies. For those of you who dare from the air, precision and power unite when you think outside the bomb. And don't miss our Live Laugh Launch t-shirts for Patriot and High Mars, because sometimes defending freedom means bringing the thunder. Finally, for the true defender of the seas, we present Department of the Boat People. Sail with honor and show your allegiance to the world's mightiest maritime force. With these shirts, hoodies, and stickers, along with the tow missile, landmines, and drone warfare. These aren't just shirts, they're statements. They're your way of saying I stand for strength, unity, and style. Get yours at Bunker Branding today.